Hey, it's HJ. Okay, I'm just gonna jump right into it. Let me turn this on quiet because I'm about to go in. And I was reading him praying, just doing my normal thing. And as I was praying, I was feeling really convicted about something and I just wanted to share it with you. So it's really common to hear at churches a lot, pastors encouraging believers who feel like maybe God doesn't love me as much because I sinned, or God can never love me as much as they say he can because of the things that I've done or the things that I'm doing, the things that I'm stuck in. For some people, they really do need to hear that encouragement in their minds. They really don't understand how like God's love never changes. Our salvation is secure. We're still with the Holy Spirit. He's never going to leave us. He's never going to forsake us. And that's, you know, something that people need to get their minds around and they need to be encouraged in that area. But what we don't hear a lot, and it's something that I was kind of feeling convicted about while I was praying earlier is what about the people who know that God loves them, no matter what. They know all the theology, it's all right here, and they're like, God will never leave me or forsake me, I'm still with the Holy Spirit, uh, my salvation is sealed, like, I'm not gonna lose my salvation, God's gonna love me no matter what, like, I could murder somebody and God will still love me. And you know that in your mind. I know that in my mind, not saying that I'm gonna murder anybody by any means, and it's more rare, I feel like, to hear, do not take advantage of his love. Don't think that you can continue in your sin, however big or small you may feel it is in your life. Sin is sin. Don't feel like you can continue because, oh, God will still love me. Like, I don't, I don't really need to worry about it. God will still be there. I'll still have my salvation. I'll still whatever like I'll still be walking with the Lord I'll still have a Holy Spirit he's not gonna leave me we can get cocky for the people who really do like have this theology on lockdown in our hearts and in our minds we can get cocky sometimes and sometimes we don't even know it it's just second nature to um, not appreciate God's love and not some just not appreciate his love sometimes and I feel like Paul was talking about this and everybody knows this scripture um, shall we continue to sin so that grace may abound? By no means. That's just a paraphrase of the scripture. And we think that isn't for me. That isn't for the wife who continues to nag on her husband and continues to get angry with her friends and continues to be jealous and continues to cause discord. Or the husband who isn't leading well, who isn't tending to their family. The husband who's neglectful of their children. Or the friend that is harsh with her other friends or the pastor who's neglectful of his flock or fill in the blank. We think that's not for us because, oh, it's a small sin to be jealous or it's a small sin to lie. That scripture can't dare apply to us because that's for like sexual immoral people, big sins, quote, quote. And that really hit me. And I was just like, dang, Lord, you know, I, I don't struggle with thinking that you're going to leave me. I don't struggle with thinking that you're going to ever stop loving me. And sometimes I can use that knowledge that grace will always be there. Grace will always abound to continue in a sin, however small I may think it may be, and not address it, not repent of it, not lay it before the throne of God and ask God to help take it from my heart, to take the desires. So, yeah, I just wanted to encourage the people who are full of theology and you know the truth and the truth cannot be shaken from you but you use that truth to sin's advantage in your life and you disregard sometimes that because God is patient because God is loving because God will never leave you that should lead us to repentance not to lean on grace so that we can continue in our sin so yeah it's that simple I can ramble on I can repeat it in a hundred different ways but just take that to your prayer time. If you know that that's you, and you know that you may be abusing God's love for you and God's grace for you and God's steadfastness for you, repent of it, take it to God. That's something that I've had to do. Um, and I'm probably gonna have to continue to do throughout my life because I'm not perfect and I'm human. I hope you're encouraged. If you like the content, subscribe to my channel. Make sure to like and share your comments below. If you agree with what I said, if you disagree with what I said, if you have furthermore scripture to go with what I said, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe because I have videos out every week. And yeah, I love you guys and I hope you're encouraged.